Hello everyone and welcome to the Little Blue Fly. In today's video, I would like to share with you all how I decided to decorate my window here in the dining area for fall. Um, I have actually been out quite a bit. That's why I have not been having too many videos up here because I just had to give myself some me time. It's, it's really important that we all do that. Make sure that, you know, we give ourselves that little bit of time needed. Um, and that's what I have been doing this week. So I've been out thrifting, um, finding new treasures to share with you all. Um, and I will be sharing those here within, well, pretty soon. Uh, I'll say within the next month. But um, I don't know about you all, but when you get a certain item, it just sort of sparks this creativity inside and you just to start you just start going in a whole different direction. Well, that is sort of what I'm going through right now. But for today, we're just going to focus on this sweet little simple window. And for those of you that enjoyed this video, please give it a thumb up, thumbs up, leave a comment. Um, so that being said, let's begin, shall we? Okay, so the first thing, first things first, always make sure your surface area is nice and clean, your windows, and this is quite a deep window sill. Um, many homes, it's not quite this deep. I know this is my first experience having one and, and I'm 56 years old and loving every bit of my windows. So over to the left, we did a little bit of decorating there um, in the previous video and we are just going to move along this wall and decorate this windowsill. We have a little bit of light still coming through. I would say first thing in the morning till around noontime, we get really good light in this window here. Okay, so the first thing that I would like to share is this cake stand. It was actually purchased from um, uh, the Flower Gallery in Manassas, one of my favorite decorating stores to go into. Now this is made by a company, it is capital R-A-Z and imports and i know there is quite a big um, influence of this company on amazon now if i do find these i will make sure to link them in my description box below for those of you that might be interested in wanting to purchase one of these gorgeous cake stands so i place that off over into the corner I love um, bringing in the natural wood tones into uh, my other decor pieces. So this I've had for some time. Um, it, it has a nice uh, primitive feel to it. We have some, I, I'm not quite sure what these are, um, but it does have, you know, the dried natural look and feel to it. and it can pretty much work with any decor style. And then I have one simple pick that I will be using. And I believe what I'm going to do is curve this around the wreath a little bit just to um, give it some nice color. I believe it's going to stay right like this. I did not want to have any coming down from the sides because I don't want to cover up this pretty detail here on the front of the stand. Some things are just meant to be um, left untouched. 
And this is a pumpkin that I purchased from Mackenzie Childs. It has this gorgeous um, like wool fabric. And I stated last year I was actually going to have a DIY. And, you know, one day I am going to get around to start giving many DIYs here on my channel. I just have so much going on still in my home that I'm unable to really get those going. But anyhow, this is from Mackenzie Childs, and I love the sparkles inside the fabric. It almost reminds me in the morning, you know, where we get those early morning frosts and, you know, the, the, you just have that, like that crystallized, you know, it's just a gorgeous, peaceful look, I guess I'm trying to say. But anyhow, let's move on to this piece here. Okay, so this is a vintage um, vessel that I just recently thrifted, and I believe... It was in my previous, no, not my previous, a couple videos back, I shared how I placed this together um, using some faux and um, natural uh, flowers that have been purchased from Hobby Lobby or Marshalls. And I placed in this rooster plate, well, actually a plaque that is made by RobinKingDesigns.com. And I will have her linked in my description box as well. She makes, just in case, uh, you know, for those of you that are new, beautiful vintage inspired pieces. So I just place this off to the side for now. And I want to point out how the pumpkin, the gold in the pumpkin is really going with the vessel here on the side and also going around one of Robin's plates. I need to call it a plaque. I keep calling it a plate because I don't have a hanger on the back of it. And here is another one of her plaques. This is, um, again, they're all uh, um, vintage inspired. And this is just a very nice French country um, print here on this plaque. And again, all of them are always painted and hand painted around the sides with a gold and I will be placing this one flat versus up on a stand. The red gives a nice um just a completely different color. It really helps pull the two together but also add a different element of color. And this rooster here was purchased at the at-home store. So messy bottom, but I wanted to keep it. So it used to be white, this rooster. And I just like to have more um, warmer tones inside my home. I did share this last fall, how I was um, able to warm up this rooster using wax. And he just, he has all the chippy goodness on him, all the aged detail. This is really a nice piece to work with. It's not super large, so it can fit in the smaller spaces. And I decided to place it on top of the tray. Now, really quick, many of us don't have these deep window sills. I know through, I'm 56, I've never had any window sills like this. So if not, you can simply um, place a table in front of your window and just put um, a nice little vignette together on the table because it's, it's so nice, you know, when the sun comes through and, you know, just really greets all your decor pieces, it just makes for a nice, welcoming scene inside the home. Now you can see I've worked with metals here and we have wood and some resin and I decided to bring in an amber color. Um, this is a vintage candlestick, actually candle stand. And I wanna show you, this is the bottom. 
It has quite a bit of detail. What is nice about these vintage glass pieces is the glow. It's when the light hits it, the sun hits it, and the sun will be coming through this window in the morning hours. It's just, um, ah, it's just good for the soul. You know, I love everything about color in my life. So very nice detailing up on top as well. And I will be placing these in the window to add with the wood and the metal and the fabric. And just by adding in these candle stands, little sticks, um, it, it just, you know, it gave it, what am I trying to say here? More of, um, it toned things down. It brought things together. It really just warmed up the vignette. And now I will be adding in these candles that are, they're colonial candles. I actually purchased these from Wegmans. So if you have a Wegmans near you, um, I would go take a look because there was only a few left and I took them. <laughs> but so... The candles, as you can see, I didn't place them side by side. I placed one in the back and one up front just to give that nice, you know, to look around the corner to see, say, hey, what is that that I'm seeing? And it just has a nice look and feel when you do that. You sort of hide something around the corner, get the eyes to moving a little bit.